Radio is a variety of wireless communication. It uses radio waves freely propagating through space as the dominant carrier. In some countries it was believed that the first successful information exchange system that used radio waves, radio telegraphy, was created by Guglielmo Marconi. However, like most of those who made important inventions, the Italian engineer had predecessors. In Russia it is Alexander Popov, who is believed to be the inventor of the radio. In 1895 he built sensitive ra and reliable radio sets suitable for radio communication. He began his work by repeating the experiments of Hertz. Then he used the more reliable and sensitive method for detecting electromagnetic waves. Popov used the coherer, also known as the Brenly coherer, as the main component for sensing electromagnetic waves. The device is a tube containing two electrodes. There are some metal filings inside the tube. In normal conditions, the coherer has high resistance because there is little contact between the metal filings. An electromagnetic wave flowing through the coherer creates high frequency AC. Small sparks appear between the metal filings and melt them down. As a result, the resistance of the coherer falls dramatically. In Popov's experiments, it fell from 100,000 to 1,000 to 500 ohms, that is by 100 to 200 times. It is possible to restore high resistance by shaking the device. Wireless communication requires that reception is automatic. To achieve this, Popov used a device that could shake the coherer after each signal reception. The operation principle was simple, the relay was actuated, it triggered the bell. In its turn, the coherer was shaken and the links between the metal filings would weaken. Then they were ready to receive another signal. To make the device more sensitive, Popov grounded one of the coherer's leads. The other one was attached to a wire that was raised high. In this way, he created the first pickup antenna for wireless communication. Although modern radios are very different from Popov's radio, their primary principle of operation are still the same. Popov presented his device at the meeting of the Russian physiochemical site in St. Petersburg on May 7, 1895. It was, in fact, the first radio in the world. So the May 7 became the day when the radio was born. Today it is annually celebrated in Russia.